high in this activity. We will explore the different options available on internet working devices. We will also be required to determine which options provide the necessary connectivity when connecting multiple devices. And finally, we will add the correct modules and connect the devices. On part one, identify physical characteristics of internet working device. Step one, identify the management ports of a Cisco router. As you can see on the screen, this router has console and a UX port for management. And this router has two LAN ports and two WAN ports. We can check using the CLI. This router has two gigabit Ethernet ports, two serial ports, and a VLAN port. This VLAN port exists in software. Now we will examine the gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0. The default bandwidth of this port is 100, or oh sorry, it 1 million kilobit per second. Now we examine the one port. The default bandwidth it's 1544 kilobit per second. But please note that bandwidth on serial interfaces is used by routing processes to determine the best path to a destination. It does not indicate the actual bandwidth of the interface. Actual bandwidth is negotiated with a service provider. Now, on step two, we will identify module expansion slot. On the physical tab, you can see we have two slots. Sorry, uh, on this router, we have three expansion slots. One, two, and three. This slot has no weak cover. This slot has weak cover. This is a weak cover here. We can cannot add module when the power is on. I turn off the router and I drag the weak cover here. Now we move on to part two. Select correct modules for connectivity. Step one, determine which module provide the required connectivity. On the east router, we click on physical tab. And under the modules tab, we can see many modules. I click on one module and we can see the description of the module and the picture of that module. Now, we need to connect PC1 to 3 
to the East router, but we do not have the necessary funds to purchase a new switch. So we have to choose which module we can use to connect the three PCs to the East router. So let's have a look at each module. There is a one module, one module with four Ethernet port. It's a one module with a serial port. There is a one module with one optical gigabit Ethernet port. There is a wick cover and there is a SFP port. So to connect the PC to this router, we have to choose this model. This module had four Ethernet ports, so we can connect four PC to this module. Before connecting the module to the slot, remember to turn off the router. Before turning off the router, you should remember save the configuration to NVRAM. Now let's examine the switch 2. The question is which module we can insert to provide a gigabit optical connection to switch 3. So have a look at the description of each module. This module is a copper module. And the second module is copper media. The third module is a copper, it's used with copper media too. The fourth, for use with fiber media, so we can use the fourth module to insert to this slot. The power now is on. We can turn off the switch and add the module to the slot. And then we turn the switch on. Now on part three, we have to connect devices. Firstly, we will connect each router to switch one using gigabit Ethernet interface. I choose copper straight through cable with the a gigabit with this port to switch one on this port. You should take a look at this table to connect from the device on the first column on the interface on the second column and with the tie of cable to the device on the fourth column on the interface on the last column. For example, I will connect each router on Gigabit Ethernet 0 slot 1 using the copper straight through cable to switch 4 on the Gigabit Ethernet 0 slot 1.
and the remaining job is for you. Now we move on to part 4. Check the connectivity. Step 1. We check the interface status on each. You can see we have fast Ethernet interfaces and gigabit uh, as an interface and the serial interface. The four fast Ethernet interface is of the module we have just add into the slot of each router. Step two, we will connect wireless devices, laptop and tablet PC. Firstly, we turn off the PC or the laptop and then we remove. Okay, I turn on the, the laptop and then on the config, the wireless zero, the port status, turn it on. You can see the laptop is now connected to the access point. And by the tablet PC, we config the wireless zero. We turn the wireless zero on. You can see it is connected to the access point. On step three, we change the access method of the tablet PC. Firstly, I click on the wireless and I turn the wireless off. And then I click on the 3G, 4G cell one and check or turn it on. You can see the tablet PC is connected to the cell tower zero here. On step four, we will check the connectivity of the other PCs. All of the PCs should have connectivity to the website and each other. And you can ping from those PC 1 to PC 3 to PC 7 to PC 9 and ping to the server. That is all for this lab. Thanks for watching.